Open the image of interest using image J. To measure the diameter of the fibers, installations are required with two plugins and a macro. Head to the website as shown in the screen below. The link is also available in the description below. Click on the link and download the MorphoLib J plugin. Head to another website to download the Orientation J plugin. The link to this website is in the description below. Click on the link and download the plugin. To download the macro gift, head to the website as shown in the screen. Click on the download row file. Alternately, the code can be copied and can be used as a macro. The link to the macro license is also available in the description below. For more information on this macro, please visit the article that is published in the PLOS ONE journal. Now, let us install the downloaded plugins and the macro. To install the plugins, head to Plugins, Install, select MorphoLibJ, and open. Save the plugins in the Plugins folder. Similarly, install the Orientation J plugin. To install the macro, click on Plugins, Macro, Install, select the GIFT macro, and open. Upon successful installation of the macro, an icon appears in the Image J toolbar window. To measure the diameter of the fibers, click on the icon. To analyze a single file, click on Process Single Open Image. The next step is to set the parameters, degrees of rotation, line length, threshold value, bin size, scaling. Image cropping Fiber orientation measurement Once all the parameters are set, click OK. It may take up to 30 seconds for the analysis to run and complete. Once the analysis is over, a bunch of output files are displayed. In the results window, one can find the name of the image, mean fiber diameter, the standard deviation, the R-square value for the Gaussian fit, the total number of observations, that is, the measured distances for each image. For the image, a histogram of distances is produced. This histogram is fitted using a Gaussian function and the fiber diameter and standard deviations are calculated. Together, the histogram and the blue Gaussian fit line are displayed. In this graph, C denotes the mean fiber diameter and D denotes the standard deviation. Clicking on the list will yield all the plot values generated. Click on Data and save data to save the values in a .csv format. To modify the graph labels, click on More and Axis Option. Change the parameters that you would like to incorporate, such as the axis labels, font size, style of the font, and excluding major and minor ticks on both the X and the Y axis. To change the values in the axis, Click on Set Range and input the desired value in both the axes. Once completed, click OK. To save this graph, click on File, Save As, select the format of your choice, and then click Save. One can also explore the other output files generated 
to get more information. These files can be saved if required. To measure the fiber diameter of only a selected portion in the image, click on any of the selection tools from the Image J toolbar and mark the region of interest. Now click on the GIF icon and click Process Single Open Image. Set the parameters accordingly and click OK. Once the analysis is completed, the graph and the other output files can be analyzed. Thanks for watching.